Good morning, members and friends. Here's your West Point news for Sunday, January 20th, 2013. We want to start our new members and frequent visitors on the right path through the West Point Church's member orientation class. That's why we're offering starting point at 9.30 and 11.30 a.m. every Sunday. This is a class for new members, frequent visitors, who want to know more about the church and those who are interested in watch care. If you marked you desire membership on your decision card or simply want more information, then make plans to attend. You can register in advance by calling the office, signing up on the website, or stopping by the information center after today's service. We've kicked off our 21 days of prayer and fasting. It doesn't matter if you are a member or a friend of West Point. Everyone is welcome to participate, and there's still time. If you haven't already done so, visit the website, thewestpointchurch.org, to download the 21 days of prayer and fasting guide. You can print a copy or save a copy of the prayer guide on your computer or smartphone. The guide will give you devotionals and scriptures for daily meditation, as well as instructions and tips about the Daniel fast. As we go through the 21 days, make sure you take time each day to read the scriptures and devotional thoughts for the day. Then email us what God is doing over the next 21 days in your life. Tuesday will continue to be our day of prayer. The conference call prayer line is back and will be available each Tuesday, but at new times. We will have corporate prayer on the prayer line every Tuesday at 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. That's right, Tuesdays at 7 a.m. and 9 p.m. Dial the number and access code on the screen. The call-in number can also be found in your prayer guide and on the website. We want everyone to call in for a dynamic time of prayer. Then, Tuesday at 1215, join us right here in the sanctuary for midday prayer. There are four important events you should know to mark on your calendar for this month. We've deemed every Wednesday at 630 as Faith Night at the West Point Church. You can expect to be stirred in your faith each Wednesday this month at 630. Come expecting something big to happen and bring a friend. Mark your calendar for Friday, January 25th for a special midnight prayer service. That's right, we will have a special corporate midnight prayer service at 12 a.m. We will ask, believe, and receive all that God has in store for us at midnight. Take my word, you don't want to miss this special midnight prayer service on Friday, January 25th. The doors will open at 11 p.m., so come early and invite a friend. Parents, please bring your child at midnight as well for children's ministry. They will experience a night of joy as they learn about the power of prayer. Write their request on the prayer wall and explode in praise to our God through song and dance. The Student Center will be open to receive your child starting at 11 p.m. West Point, we will end our 21 days of fasting and praying with a special night of celebration. Make plans to join us for a night full of surprises, praise, and worship Monday, January 28th at 6.30. This is a night for the entire family. Don't miss celebration night, Monday, January 28th at 6.30 p.m. Then lastly, our annual winter revival is set for Tuesday and Wednesday, January 29th through 30th at 6.30 p.m. We welcome Dr. John Adolph back to the West Point Church for two nights of powerful life-changing services to conclude our 21 days of prayer and fasting celebration. This year, you are promised to be blessed by the vocals of our special guest, psalmist, Ms. Anita Wilson. Mark your calendars and make sure you invite others to attend. We've been praying, we've been fasting, and now it's time to get in the Word. Coming in February will be the best church-wide spiritual growth opportunity yet, called 40 Days in the Word. I can only imagine what God is going to do in the life of West Point after 21 days of prayer and fasting. And then, 40 Days in the Word. That's your West Point news for Sunday, January 20th. We hope you have a wonderful Sunday and a blessed week.